legions are the backbone of any fledgling Roman Empire. Not quite as important as sacking cities and bringing civilization to stinking barbarians, but certainly more useful than Crassus. So in today's video, our newly formed legions of Rome will march from one side of the world to the other, taking on all manner of enemies from the Persians to Carthaginians and Gauls. Can they lead us to glory like Caesar, or will they collapse in defeat like Crassus after he became a pincushion? Stay tuned to find out. And we are back as glorious Rome, guys. Last time, we thoroughly demolished the Ptolemies, taking out Syria all the way down here and taking a lot of Anatolia as well. In today's video, we are going to be going for conquest of Africa, taking all of North Africa off Carthage. I did have a look at Punic Rivals 2, guys, but it just seems a little bit of a worse tree than conquest of Africa. So we're going to go conquest of Africa. But while we're waiting for our aggressive expansion to tick off and to get a few claims on Carthage itself, let's go for growth of Macedonia. And I'll get all these missions done, guys, with our massive amount of money, and then I'll see you in a second. And literally, as I unpause, we got a slave revolt. <laughs> Great. Uh, they're really annoying to deal with, but hopefully they stick on the siege. And there we go. We stack wipe them instantly. Tech wise, guys, we are going to go down towards quick march. That's just going to make wars a little easier. So thank you to you guys for your suggestions on that one. I also realize I've got a claim on Cyprus, so there's no point ignoring that. Let's just go straight for it. Well, the only annoying thing with some of these sort of building up missions, guys, is that you do have to build forts. So basically, I build the forts and then I just have to delete them. So it's a bit of wasted money, but for the bonuses later on, it is better. And the first siege in Cyprus is over. Also, guys, look at this. I'm representing today. Let's go. If you are enjoying this series, guys, a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated. If you've not seen the previous episodes, go back and watch them and check out the A to Z series or A to Z series on Imperator Rome as well. And our legions are just awesome. 21% starting siege on this level one fort. Well, there we go. Cyprus done, my friends. Very nice indeed. A few of you have recommended to put taxes on low for that population happiness, but honestly, the, the population happiness is relatively high, so we don't need to do that right now. If we get some really unhappy areas, we will do, though. And we're actually making so much money now that we are going to strengthen both our legions. And now we can do growth of Pella, guys, which finishes off this little missions. We did them really quickly because we've just got so much money now. And let's get a Greek legion that includes war elephants. <laughs> That's going to be fun. Here we go, guys. Now let's go for the conquest of Africa. Very nice. Let's go for Roman Africa first, which gives us some claims. Cool. So this is what we have claims on. I have fabricated a couple already as well, so hopefully we can take a lot in this war. Right, guys, it is time to go to war with Carthage once again. I've left a few troops behind in case they do land, because I do believe they have a better fleet than us. These two are over here in case they decide to walk around this way. And then on here, we've got our glorious legions over here too, one of which is amazing for shock action. <laughs> because of the war elephants. <laughs> that is going to be fun to use. So uh, let's go. And let's see how we do against the Carthaginian troops, boys. I've not seen a single Carthaginian army yet. So um, I'm assuming they're all over here, but uh, let's see. And there's one. Wow. <laughs> well, here's a battle. 4,000 of the Carthaginians versus us. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much just squishing at this point. So I think I'm going to set these guys on independent. Just let them go around and clean up a bit of this mess over here. Well, here we go, guys. We've got 13,000 in front of us. Our war elephant army is on the march. So let's see how we do against that. Let's see what happens. I mean, we've literally lost no morale at all. <laughs> it's just fantastic, isn't it? Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> are we going to um are we going to stack wipe these guys though that is the question no we didn't actually stack wipe them that's very interesting because normally we would do let's see if we stack wipe them this time it looks very much like we're going to fantastic nice and easy <laughs> and unfortunately our ships are definitely worse than the carthaginians still but it doesn't really matter when you've got an army like this, does it, guys? <laughs> and out of all the places, Carthage is invading Thrace. Uh, I mean, kind of smacks of desperation, that, doesn't it? <laughs> and now we can get Quick March. That is going to be fantastic. Allow us to catch a few of these armies a little bit better. I am very undecided what to do with the peace deal here because we can't really take 
that much. So I think what we'll do is we'll take the areas we have claims on first, so then we can fabricate more claims while we have a truce. So this is what we're going to take, guys, mainly the coast. They're going to be annoying to deal with no matter what we do, so uh, yeah. It's going to take a little while to clean them up, I feel, but that's 99 war score. Only 30 aggressive expansion, though. And let's get a brand new governor of Numidia, too. And now we can integrate Judea as well. Awesome. And of course, you already know what we're doing with our money. <laughs> well, guys, we're going to take this times of truce to uh, clean up a bit of land. Honestly, like in terms of where we need to get to, there's quite a nice line here. And I believe that is the right line um, for the Roman Empire. So just up to here, up to this sort of river here, I think is the right area. But let me know down in the comments if you agree. And the Greek Legion gets a lovely bonus. The enemy thought themselves safe behind their walls, but the experienced engineers of Legio Greece have shown this was false. They were not an obstacle for long. No fortress is stronger than its weakest point, and a good engineer will find it and take advantage of it in no time. As the sappers dug underneath the walls, weakening them, the army at large kept the enemy in the dark with feigned attack attacks. Without the engineers, we would have lost many more lives, and more importantly, time fantastic and that gives 10 percent siege ability and plus one siege engineer so <laughs> this legion is going to be brutal at sieges well let's piece out this little boy here and i've hardly even seen any of their armies i'm kind of surprised that they do now have an army ready to go let's uh, actually use our glorious force march if we can here we go and let's see if we can catch them there we go let's see how we do against them let's go and uh Doing pretty well, I've got to say. And there we go. We, I mean, <laughs> we just keep getting bonuses for these legions so much now as well. Ever since the heroic stand at Thermopylae, it is well known that numbers can be leveraged very, very well against superior numbers in a closed environment. With that in mind, the cohort's second Legio Magna Gratia have shown great innovation with their latest victory, where they lured the enemy into thinking they were choosing the battleground. In reality, they fell for a well-planned trap. Nice, Montagina. And I think they also got Barker as well, which gets light cavalry, light infantry, and army weight modifier, which isn't that useful for us, honestly. But mountain and hills combat bonus is very good. And now we get Campesta as well. I mean, we're just getting bonuses all over the place for this legion right now. That's plains, farmland. They've also got mountain and hills. There's literally nothing this legion can't do. <laughs> well, we could actually take the right borders now, which would be all of this land. It is a lot of aggressive expansion. Honestly, though, I'm not too bothered about that. I think it'll give us a nice bit of time to settle this area to start with. If we actually have a look at the Roman Empire map, it pretty much comes across here and then follows the Rhine up. So uh, that is what we're going for anyway, overall later on. Um, so for now, I think we take that, let our aggressive expansion tick down to like 30, 40 and then go for Carthage again. Let's go. And this land, as you can see, is very much devoid of cities, guys, so I'm going to be founding a few cities. And honestly, guys, we're just making so much money. I, I can't use it all at the moment, so we are going to put our taxes down as well. I'm also going to put our wages up so that our corruption will come down. And to be fair, with our wages high, we were actually in deficit. So <laughs> we're going to keep them in the middle for now. But yeah, let's keep that low taxes. Keep all these newly conquered people happy. And we've got a little war of independence over in Scordiscia. That's actually quite good for us because we've got two cities here that we've not actually been able to build anything in because it's been too disloyal for too long. That is them dealt with. Now we can build. Now guys, as you can see, we've built cities all in this region. We've also built a little road network through here too, making our troops move a lot quicker around the Alps. I would also love some advice guys on when you think is the right time to swap to an empire. Obviously we have this technology here. Over here, demand a line of succession, which of course will start a civil war and our ruler will be granted temporary dictatorship. So I don't know when to do that we can also request it rather than demand and you know we'll adopt dictatorship government reform so just let me know what you guys think is the best way to go about it and look what has happened to the ptolemies guys very nice indeed <laughs> upper egypt is now taking control of this land awesome <laughs> well i say awesome i was kind of hoping the ptolemies might be sort of the end game boss but it it looks more like it's going to be parthia doesn't it tech wise guys i've just been uh, sort of dipping in and out there's no specific way we're trying to go 
at the moment, just taking techs that are going to help us along, such as, you know, pop conversion speed, that sort of thing. Right then, boys, our aggressive expansion has ticked down. It is time to go to war with Carthage once again. Um, we've got a few armies back on the mainland just to, you know, make sure that uh, nothing bad happens over there. So let's go for Iolia and let's get going, guys, again. And we literally won this siege in like a few months. So <laughs> that's pretty good for us. I mean, this this fort is not helping you at the minute, Carthage, is it? And once again, whenever their armies get into any battles, they just get absolutely flattened. <laughs> well, here comes Carthage with 32,000 troops. Uh, so... Let's see whether we can get rid of them. Well, here we go. Here's a massive battle. And look at that. <laughs> the sacred band is just getting absolutely destroyed. <laughs> Poor Carthage. Is this going to be a stack wipe? Let's have a look. Well, we got disciplined from that. No, it wasn't quite a stack wipe, but I think it was quite powerful. <laughs> oh, and I didn't even realize the Ptolemies are in this war. Um, <laughs> that's kind of funny. Um... Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll use our, our troops over here to deal with it. In fact, I think we'll get some mercs because they're a little bit closer. Let's see how we do against the Ptolemies with our mercs. Looks like we're going to do just fine. So uh, let's see if we can push it back against them over here. And another juicy little victory against the Ptolemies. Honestly, they're not going to put up much resistance. They're, they're so small now. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not worried about them. Uh, they're just going to be annoying because of the war score. Well, here we go. 40,000 versus 32,500 of the Carthaginians with their war elephants as well. So the finest Carthaginian troops. We have 137% discipline. Let's see how... Oh, my... Oh. Oh. Um. Yeah. I, <laughs> it's just obscene, isn't it? And now we can actually get through to the Ptolemies this way as well. So, um... Yeah, lots of pain coming down on them very soon. And our mercs are starting to die, guys, as you can see. But they're still doing a very good job pushing the Ptolemies back. Fantastic. Well, here we go. Here's another battle against that large Carthaginian army. So, yeah, uh, yeah. We, we can't sack wipe it because, of course, they have a very large army. But... We are just destroying them, aren't we? Well, this is what we can take from Carthage, guys. And I think we take it again. It's only 38 aggressive expansion, though, this time. So we can just jump on someone else straight afterwards. I'm thinking about potentially Pontus over here. So let's go. And now we can do a few of our missions. Let's go for secure the new Midian coast, giving us some commerce and happiness over there as well. Now we can also do uh, Roman Numidia, which gives us slave desired ratio, but tribesman happiness negative. That doesn't really matter too much. And let's go for this one as well. Well, guys, in to the east again, Pontus, basically just to clean up this area, you know, try and have the borders a little bit nicer. The Ptolemies still have this, which is <laughs> not so good, but... Um, that's fine. That's fine. There's not a problem for us. We might have to go to war with the Ptolemies very soon as well. I am kind of, you know, seeing that we're only at 52 BC, so we still have a lot to conquer, and I want to do it before the Romans actually did it, faster than them. I mean, Carthage is just taking so long to conquer all this land because of the, uh, the war score and that, so yeah, I think we need to forget about aggressive expansion for a little while and uh, get going. Right then, let's get into Pontus, guys. And Pontus has just had a big revolt, so they shouldn't be too strong. They shouldn't be too strong, but uh, let's see. Well, here we go. 40,000 troops versus our 45,000. We're definitely on the wrong on the wrong thing. I don't think we should have been on bottleneck, but, but oh well. Let's see how we do here. This is, of course, our legion. 137% discipline, and it looks like it's going to be a large, large battle, guys. Let's see how we do. There's lots of, obviously, plenty of battles fighting around the world. Look at that. That looks like we are going to win. Very nice indeed. Fantastic. And we did actually lose in the end because they basically just kept on reinforcing it with more and more troops. That's not a problem, though. I mean, we've got way more troops than them overall anyway. And another huge battle going on, but this time we did win. Fantastic. Well, now we've pretty much stack wiped most of them. So let's see what we can get from this war. And there we go. I think that is pretty nice borders with not too much aggressive expansion. So let's go for that. There we go. Lovely. Well, guys, now we're going to get into the Persian Kingdom, which is sort of the remnants of the Seleucid Empire over here. They're still Macedonian and Hellenic, which is pretty cool. But that also allows us to attack the Ptolemies too. I'm kind of hoping to maybe clean up this area, but we'll just see how much aggressive expansion 
It is. Let's go. And the Ptolemies are putting up some resistance. They do have a decent amount of troops around this area, at least. So they've definitely been converting a few pops to Macedonian, I think. Well, there we go. We managed to send that army back. Very nice indeed. And once we're into the Delta, we should be good. Well, there we go. The Siege of Seleucia, guys, along with the Siege of Alexandria. Very nice. And somehow the Persian Kingdom had areas over here in the middle of india fair play i never saw that happen but yeah they do because we've been we've gone to war with this revolt for some reason so it must have popped out of the persian kingdom <laughs> and the siege of seleucia is one fantastic <laughs> and the siege of alexandria is done as well guys very nice well let's test ourselves against the seleucids Sixteen thousand of their troops versus forty-five thousand of ours yeah, we're pretty good, aren't we? <laughs> well, I don't know where the Ptolemies keep summoning troops from, but they do keep bringing some. I'm assuming from down here, but yeah, it's, it's not many. <laughs> just a few, and uh, we are just smashing them, as you can see, every time we get into them. Like, have a look at that. Nice. Well, taking anything from the Ptolemies is actually quite a lot of um, aggressive expansion. So... Uh, I think we're just going to take this. That's fine. Just clean up these borders a little bit and uh there we go nice and now we can probably peace out with the seleucids too but we can take these two bits of land here so that is fine fantastic and let's create another legion the legion of macedonia tech wise now guys i'm going to try and go down this right hand path for the religious giving us a bit more happiness all that sort of thing and if you're wondering why i haven't done the integrating africa mission yet guys it's because all of the territories in the regions of africa numidia mauritania and karenisha game that modifier if we take them so i want to take as much land of uh, land over here as possible basically before i take that you know what i just wish some of these missions would give more claims than they do because that is the thing that's really slowing us down because we're taking so much aggressive expansion uh, because we have like so little claims on all these areas we're conquering so it would be nice if we could get a few more claims well guys time for another monstrous war in this one we're gonna try and take as much of north africa as we can i think this will be the final war that we do today also want to try and take this as well i am very conscious we're at 38 bc so we've only got about 150 years left it's not strictly necessary to do everything before uh, the romans actually did it i would just like to do that but <laughs> we still have plenty of time it's just i think we're gonna have to push on a little bit now so uh let's go they are still allies with uh with the ptolemaic kingdom so let's go for Massacelia over here and uh let's go smash them and honestly guys i've hardly seen any troops i feel like both the ptolemies and carthage are pretty spent right now so I mean, that's good for us, isn't it? But yeah, I, I feel kind of bad for them. I always say that, but no, nah, I don't. <laughs> Truthfully, I don't. We need to destroy them. <laughs> well, we've pretty much destroyed Carthage already. There's not really much we can do over here. It's more sorting out the Ptolemies, making sure we have enough war score against them in a year. It's only been two years so far. So um, yeah, they're, they're kind of struggling. And I mean, we've pretty much full occupied Carthage now, apart from some of these sort of desert regions. They are occupying a bit of North Africa, but yeah, we're doing very well. And there we go. We won the Siege of Alexandria again. Nice. Well, there we go. Now we can peace out with the Ptolemies. That's 33 war exhaust, uh, 33 aggressive expansion for that. Maybe we can take this as well. I mean... Like I say, we need to start pushing, guys. So um, yeah, we're going to take that. That's a lot. I know, but uh, we should be able to keep stable enough for this. Let's see what we can take off Carthage. Well, that there is 94 war score. Like I say, it's just so much war score at the minute for all of this land. But we, I mean, we've pretty much absolutely ruined Carthage, haven't we? <laughs> now, now that we do control all of North Africa, sort of, we, we do need to take the rest of Carthage at some point. But we're pretty good. We are on 81 aggressive expansion now, though, so... um. 
Let's chill out for a second. Well, we just clicked this twice. That's what we saved our political influence up for. So we're only losing 0.3 for 81 aggressive expansion. Not too bad. And of course, you know what we have saved our money for. <laughs> and that allows us to do Punic colonies as well. Very nice. And the Persian kingdom is falling apart. Um, that's quite good for us. And I think now would be a good time to take integrating Africa. Let's go for that. Well, honestly, looking at the map, we pretty much do have... The African section covered now. Um, obviously, to do our missions, we need to take a little bit more down here. Might just take this region here. But in terms of this, this looks to be about the right amount. Potentially taking these two provinces as well. And obviously a little bit more down there. But, but otherwise, I think just the coast here is all that's needed. So... Maybe we don't need to fight Carthage too many more times. Well, guys, we've just tipped under 50 aggressive expansion. So that is where we're going to leave off for today. I hope you have enjoyed that. That's been some pretty big, nice walls. If you did enjoy, guys, a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated. It really does help these videos get out to more people. In terms of what else that we have to conquer now, honestly, I think potentially a couple of provinces down here. Obviously, all the coastline here. Egypt as well this little bit over here down to babylonia up to this lake but if we look at the uh, the things here like we can't just conquer this lake uh, just like at the right borders so we're going to be slightly off here so i might just conquer to there and just conquer this and hope that that's fine <laughs> like well maybe we can just conquer like those few provinces and then obviously all the way up to the caucasus Two, in terms of the northern stuff, obviously all of Gaul, up to Hadrian's Wall up here, uh, all of Hispania, um, and the cross to the Rhine as well, and potentially a little bit more of Getia. So there's actually not a huge amount more that we do need to conquer, but uh, I just want to kind of start ticking off borders now um, that we are in a really good spot. So uh, it'd be nice to start ticking off a few borders so we know that we don't need to conquer any further. Like over here in Carthage, we don't need to conquer south of the desert here. We will have to conquer down a little bit, but we don't need to conquer down south of the desert there. So that is nice to tick that one off. But overall, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy, and I'll see you all again on the next video. Glory to Rome. And once again, massive thank you to the channel members of Cowie, Pascal, and David. If you are interested in supporting the channel and getting some exclusive perks, like getting some of these videos potentially early, then you can look down below for as little as $1 a month. But anyway, guys, I'll see you all again on the next video.